Hi everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome or welcome back to my channel and today I'm up here with another video related to AIMS PSC Nursing and Paramedical 2025. So as from the thumbnail that you have seen and have guessed most probably, I will talk about the factor that most people have been asking that Abhishek can we prepare for NEET while uh, starting BSc Nursing or Paramedical and uh, if we leave in between, so can we get our original documents back, how much will be the penalty etc etc. Though I have talked about penalty earlier also but still there are many confusion so I will clear all that today that how can you prepare and is that the scope of preparation or not and uh, if you leave the college in between then how much uh, will be the penalty etc etc. So coming to the video and before starting the video a short announcement that my short notes which I had used to clear the exam within two weeks are still available. If you are lagging behind your studies, you can come to the telegram, you can come to my telegram and purchase the notes from me and if you purchase the notes, I will also guide you one on one on call till the examination. Yes, if you purchase the notes, you will also get my mentorship, personalized mentorship in which I will directly guide you about the examination and clear all your doubts from the base and these notes will really help you to grasp each and every formulas, concepts and help you in your last moment preparation. So please, if you need help, if you need uh, uh, to get an ace in this last moment come to telegram and do take the notes from me coming back to the video so it was the doubt of many people that we want to prepare for need we uh, can we get time can we get this can you get that so first and foremost let me tell you the basic schedule what is the basic schedule of the uh, what, what is your basic daily schedule actually so in nursing and paramedical let me tell you in my experience that is the of 2021 batch in aims rishikesh let me tell you my ex uh, experience so when i was doing paramedical in aims rishikesh back in 2022 i am 2021 batch but i uh, my uh, classes started in 2022 because in that year there was covid okay so our classes used to be like this from morning 9 am to 12 uh, pm in the morning that is three hours we had ward posting yes we had ward postings, uh, we had to go to the respective ward which was allotted to us that was endocrine ward, general medicine ward, this ward, that ward. So there were different wards in which we were allotted. We had to go to that ward, we had to uh, do our ward duties such as taking the basics, checking the patients, writing down the observations, writing down what we have done or not etc etc. Right. And then from 12 to 1 we had uh, we had to go to uh, the practical lab and there we had our practical classes. For example, we had how to deal with the patients, we had how to uh, clean up the patient, bed making and we had to learn a lot of thing, a uh, lot of things that was uh, uh, respective to our uh, respective to our stream. So uh, 9 to 12 was a ward posting and 12 to 1 was practical lab. 1 to 2 was uh, your lunch break and then 2 to 5 was classes. Yes. 2 to 5 years yet theoretical classes in which you had to attend your respective classes okay whether it was biochemistry physiology pathology etc etc so you had to attend your classes so this is the total schedule that is from 9 am in the morning to 5 pm in the evening you are completely packed and that is from uh, and also it's like 9 am the classes are starting and 5 pm it's ending but in uh, call um, for the college time you will be occupied from 8 to 7 30 in the morning till 6 pm because you have to come back you have to clean up yourself you have to take a bit rest okay then after that you have your assignments you have your projects you have to produce next uh, you know there are tests there are weekly tests there are monthly tests there are semester basis so uh, this was the entire scenario of both nursing and paramedical this is uh, mostly equal to paramedical uh, nursing and paramedical also other paramedical streams so this was actually the total output that what is going to be the scenario in your day-to-day -day life in aims bc nursing and paramedical so as you see the schedule is quite hectic because uh, after coming from classes you have your homework you have your assignments you have your uh, and there are monthly examinations that are held uh, one examination i also had given i had posted that in my community section so you can see it so there are examinations also you have to attend class daily also and yes 75 percent classes are at, uh, compulsory in both the streams or else you won't be allowed to give the final examination so you see the schedule is quite packed but after this also i have seen two people from nursing they have cleared neat exam and they are doing mbbs right now so it totally depends on you it totally depends on you how you are able to manage your time, how you, you are able to complete your syllabus. For example, if your concepts are not that clear, you, you might have a hard time. But if your concepts are clear, you have a grasp concepts, uh, you have a grasp over your concepts, you just need to practice question and give test, then you might have a easier, uh, uh, easier uh, time period while preparing for need along with paramedical or nursing, right? So it totally depends on you. How much test are you giving? How are you managing your time, right? So if you prefer not going out and staying back at uh, your room or PG and preparing for this examination, you will be in a comfortable position, right? And uh, 
so that's all about it and uh, again i would like to uh, uh, speak about this issue but i had uh, already spoke about this but still many people are confused that avishek if can we leave the course in between you can leave the course any time in between i had left the course two months after i joined it yes i joined in uh, march 2022 and i left the course in may 2022 because i had got allotted bms in gsc nagpur so i had to leave the course so yes you need a valid reason that why are you leaving the course i had showed my appointment letter that yes i am getting bms that hence i want to leave the college so uh, they took uh, they took the they accepted my uh, they accepted my letter that i was uh, accepted my application the application that i was writing to them that i want to leave the college for xyz reason right you can uh, leave the college any time provided you have a valid reason you have to write an application you have to submit the supporting documents then you have to pay the penalty of 5000 rupees yes the the time when i left the college it's 5000 rupees i have paid i have said this thousand times but i will tell it again that i had paid 5000 rupees when i was leaving the college you have to give your application you have to give your supporting documents then you have to pay the penalty and within 2 to 3 days you will get back all your original documents yes they will return your original documents on paying the penalty right after paying the penalty they will return your original documents and they will give you the clc that is the college leaving certificate after 2 to 3 days it will take processing time it they will take 2 to 3 days and after 2 to 3 days you will get all your original documents then you can take your documents and leave the college so this is all about the procedure this is all about uh, the time and um, the time that you get in between to prepare for this examination i hope this was helpful as many people had this doubt if you did find this helpful do consider subscribing to this channel liking this video and leave down a comment below regarding your further doubts and once again if you want the notes please come to telegram and purchase them from me that's it for today guys this is me fcx signing off thank you so much